all right beautiful viewers this is the detailed video on windows defender security at Collins. i'll explain it step by step so your problem will be solved i have uploaded a video on this topic before which entirely focused on this object and it solved the problem for many viewers although not for everyone the reason the method works but it depends on the windows version now in every windows version there are some difference in destination names so it's important that for the version you are facing issues with you download your windows registry or services accordingly that i'm providing in this video i'll specify which version i'm providing files for at the end of the method so it's better to make sure you update your windows to the latest version to apply these steps it might be that by the time you watch the video a new version is released with changes so this methods might not work for that I'll provide a final solution at the end which might possibly solve your problem let's get started so first open registry editor just uh, click on the windows icon then search here for registry editor and open it once you open the registry editor you need to go here into the edge key local machine just expand it now system expand it now current control set expand it and now here in the services now we need to find here the security health service but there's a lot of services just press s key from your keyboard and you'll get here the s list now scroll down and find here the security health service we are almost here now on the right side you will see here the start key start key just double click on it and put the value here three or two might be it's change in your in your system because of some third party uh, tools that disable your defenders they are just changing these values so you need to put here two or three and hit ok that's it after doing this just close it it's where you can control various uh, settings and configurations for your system including enable or disabling features and activating services critical for the services to operate well done now next step is let's go ahead and restart the pc after this it's important to ensure that the changes we made effectively apply to our new configuration in most cases the changes take effect when we freshly boot up the operating system all right viewers now let's discuss what to do if you don't have a certain service or it's missing in this situation you will need to download the service and activate it using the command prompt as i mentioned earlier it's essential to register every service in the registry editor because it determines how your service should work with a particularly program additionally make sure to download the service the security health service file that's corresponding to the version of windows you are using you can ask a friend to send it to you using an email or uh, through any online method it's important now i have here two files the one is service and the other one is registry so what we are gonna do here just opening this pc going into the c drive now in the windows we will go here the system 32 folder which is over here now here you need to replace that file just like this And that's it it's done now we need to register in our PC we just put the file now we need to register it using command prompt now what you need to do here just open the CMD run as administratorly okay that's important now as you can see here it's C Windows then system 32 which means you are running your CMD as an administrator now in case if it's showing here the username and something else then what you can do here just go here into the uh, this pc c drive then windows then find here the cmd all right just go into the system 32 find the cmd and run it from here this will work now we are going to apply here or uh, 
command which is given in the description just go copy and paste it and then hit enter now in my case as you can see the specified service already exists so which means it's already registered and it's running but in your case it will say something like the sc uh, successfully uh, started or something like this so which is fine and after doing this now what we are gonna do here just going here into the registry right click on the this and click on merge click on yes and again yes okay that's it now last thing we are gonna do here just going into the registry again and again on the same location if you go there's a security health service make sure put here three that's it put here three and close it now just restart your PC Welcome back. <laughs> okay, after restarting, now let's see or Windows Defender Security Defender is working or not. So what we are gonna do here? Just searching here the Defender, the security system, Windows. So now it's working. As you can see here, it's working. Everything is working fine. But before it was not working. So hopefully your problem should be fixed. After following these steps, your problem should be resolved. However, for some people, their issues might persist because their PC is severely infected with malware sometimes. Additionally, additionally services or registry entries are, are created by malware that prevent the service from activating. In such cases, even developers might have a hard time finding a solution after checking each file one by one. It's not a 100% guaranteed fix. So the best approach is to reinstall your windows. There are two methods for this either through a USB which is quite effective or you can simply reset your windows. Just click on the windows icon. Go into the settings, update and security. And once you over here, you need to go into the recovery options. And here you can see get reset. Now there's two options. Keep my files, remove everything if you have some important documents it's not talking i'm not talking about the games i'm talking about the documents like um, any files like music images like these kind of files mm, so you can just go with the keep my files otherwise remove everything is more better and more preferable just it will remove everything in your c drive whether it's desktop uh, in c folders etc so it's on you now you can do further so you can simply reset windows which is also a straightforward proce process stay tuned for the next video take care of yourself and most importantly take care of your family because family is incredible valuable have a good day bye bye